What's up, everybody? This your boy, Mr. Beef and Backyard Barbecue. I am currently residing in Oceanside right now, and I'm uh, at my uncle's house. I uh, had to come down here, you know, I'm coming down here with work in San Diego. Checking things out, and uh, we're going to roll into this video and talk about some barbecue, y'all. They was cheap sodas, basically just sugar and a little flavor. So it wasn't Kool-Aid, huh? What they call it? We call them belly washes. Cause That's they, the drink, belly washes? No, the name of the soda was Tops and Cola. Tops and Cola? Yeah, at the, back in the 60s. And, and you about to take cheap. me to a store so I can find some Tops and Cola? No, it ain't got no Tops and Cola. I'm, <laughs> go, I'm just going here and buy this soda. It's called 99 cents a grape soda. I'm crazy about grapes. Okay. We're on tour, y'all. Good barbecue and uh, good 99 cent sodas. <laughs> let's see what what, thanks, what thanks. this dollar gonna get me right here. This dollar. Let's see what this dollar gonna get me. Stay tuned. Immoral stuff to me to put your life history on TV should be a better condition than to fight all the time. Yeah. Everything is about he say, they say bullshit if you ask me. <laughs> Talking about love and hip hop, huh? Yeah, basketball wife the same. Yeah. Sometimes I get embarrassed about it. There ain't nobody to get embarrassed about nothing. That's that's too funny to actually know that a grown man is actually watching that type of show. That is. <laughs> I don't watch it. I, I'm bored. I ain't got nothing to do. I ain't got nothing to do but retirement but watch it. Right. I watch all channels. $48. Got to that point uh, yet. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get that though. Florence, I guess I'm busy telling my Florence. life story out here. You too? Yeah. Yeah. All of the play things I watch, everything that goes all in the news. I watch and listen to 1070 and keep me up on what's going on. So many people doing 1070, what's that? A TV show? No, 1070 is a news station oh. 24 hours. Oh. 24 7. Oh. I listen to that in, in uh, my, my truck. Yeah. Still wearing them Kangos, huh? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, had some Kangos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got uh, about two or three of them with Kangos. Well, I, I need, I, I need to convert them. They, they called around huh? about $40 out to the mall. I went out there and looked the other day at $40. Yeah, I, I, mean, I might even hang, hang these up and start wearing some Kangos. They got somebody. Start looking my age. They got gray hair growing in the beard. Well, I don't, don't grow no gray hair right now. I, I can't control it. <laughs> no, what it just dies. It died like green hair? It died. <laughs> he put, hey, put on, he had a little uh, laughing, permanent marker on yeah, his mustache. They, they was laughing. Permanent marker on the mustache, though. Folks were doing that back in the day. They were laughing at me. Because I dyed my hair. Those young girls don't want to see no gray hair. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Gray hair give you the distinguished look. <laughs> Gray hair ain't nothing but looking old. <laughs> yeah, you're right about that. It don't make me feel good right now. Maybe when I hit 50, I feel like uh, I'm supposed to see gray hair. Terry got uh, Terry got gray hair everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you start to get in, it's in the jeans. Uh, in some families, at 35, 40. Ball head round by 35. So I don't know what he got ball head. He cut his hair off. Yeah. He got no hair on his head. Same I'm man. 71 years old and I still got my hair. Yeah. But I got a big hole in the back of my head. <laughs> George Jefferson. Big hole, that's why I got the way he had. A big hole in the back of my head. They got a new dye. I'm about to cover up, huh? they, they got a new dye now that you can dye your hair and the, the ball spot back there. You can dye your skin the same color you can dye your hair. <laughs> if, it, if it's gray, you can dye it gray. If it's black, you can dye it gray or brown. See? That's crazy. That's crazy. Hey, when we come back down here, man, we might have to uh, uh, find the grill. Oh, yeah. In the backyard. I got a grill there. I got two. Two. I got. One grill in the backyard, now, and I got another one in the garage, and then I got a brand new smoker in the garage. It ain't never been used. I gotta see that one. It's yeah, you gotta see that one. Stay tuned, we about to see what's going in the box. Brand new. Bleed, bleed. 
Blink and bought it for me about a year and a half ago and I ain't did nothing with it. I'm yeah. a I'm gonna get me some pork shoulders. I like, I think North Carolina got the best barbecue in the world for its poor pork. See, they don't be putting all this. You from Georgia, you ain't supposed to say that. I know, but the <laughs> thing is, it tastes good, man. You got to give them credit for You like it. that mustardy taste that they have on there? No, they ain't got to have mustard. They, they, it's down in Georgia, they used to, when I was a kid, they did. When they put a ham on a barbecue smoker. Okay. They just only put maybe salt on it. Sometimes they didn't put nothing in it that tasted real good. Yeah. We didn't put a whole lot of barbecue sauce on these city places. They drown poor pork in barbecue sauce. And yeah, I don't yeah, like I don't that. I don't do that either. That barbecue sauce, barbecue beef real blood. I said, give me the barbecue real Yeah, no, no sauce. sauce. I tell them put the sauce on the side. Because if, if the rib don't taste good, then I got something else. Look know, at that coming from LA right there. That traffic? On the left side. Yeah. 10 to 15 miles an hour from over 110 miles an hour. Man, it, I be no fellas. <laughs> Too many people's in California. I see that. I see that. Too many. Well, and we. Right here, y'all. And with the 435. Coming back uh, yeah, I got caught up in it. I went like 10 miles and it took me 50 minutes. I was hot. Anyway, we're going to see y'all in a little bit when we see this uh, smoker at the grill. Yeah. Got a, a, a crazy odor. Hey, if y'all can tell me what kind of wood this is right here. Just found a piece of wood in my uncle's garage. Oh, you see the strings on it. I tried to smell it. I ain't never seen this kind of, this kind of fiber. I bet it burned fast. It's almost kind of like a pine. Y'all got pine trees out here? Huh? Y'all got pine trees out here? Man, they, them the type of pine. See them pine Cause trees it's old. in front of you? It's, hey, I don't know. Hey, see yeah. them pine trees over there? Not, not very oh, yeah, many. behind? Yeah. yeah, not very many. Uh, yeah. Not like Georgia, but that is. Uh, yeah, I see it. Like them three right there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, comment below if you know what, what kind of wood this is right here. I think people, some of my wife, I think. It ain't look big. That's the thing. I'm going to use it, bro. Right. It can't come in a big box, huh? Yeah. That big box. Two years ago. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. I just put it on here. Need some help? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, leave it in here. Yeah, that's my other three there. You ain't even, you ain't even open here. No, that's what I told you. You been here two years? Uh, look here. See that? What bunny? That that other? Great see that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. I'm gonna check this one out right quick. Why you doing that? Let's see how this one. I done cooked on this boy here. Huh? This baby here. Huh? All right, here we go, y'all. Dustin, gotta clean him out. The old old faithful. Where it all began. Sure, griller. I done grilled on this one before. Hey, what you got these rocks for? What? What are these rocks on the bottom for? I don't know, probably these samples of rocks and put them in the front. You don't have one of these for your grill? Get you one. Huh? Lifesaver. Anyway, let's go check out this uh, other grill. Uh, you ain't got to take it out of the box. Just take, nah. open it. Hold on. Right. What do you say? That's it then. Look at it. Hold on. Yeah. I don't want to look at this. Because I'll probably need it when I get ready to put it. Yeah, that's what I she might that's a smoker. Yeah, I just wanna see like the top of it. It come from hold on, let me see this side. See that. Oh, it don't even tea. Mm. Open the top of it. Okay. Got a knife? Yeah. I didn't want to look in there and see what you got. I got a box cutter that I use to carry with me every day for the people. Let me see what that is. Look at this. Huh? Good living. Mm -hmm. That's 550 bins, y'all. Okay. Hey, what year you retired from the Marines? Uh, 1989. You still got your uniform? Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. 1989. Oh, yeah. I ain't. Get rid of that. That's my pride and joy. What 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 was your job? Huh? Infantry? Yeah, I was in the infantry. I Ooh, worked in, in the Vietnam War? Yeah, I was in the infantry in Vietnam. I was uh, uh, infantry there 
for the whole. Much respect. I step on the ground for a whole year in the jungle. Oh, yeah. Ain't no hooches, no nothing. That's it. That's right. that hey, that's a uh, rain jacket, ain't it? Fear jacket, no, that's it. Oh, the fear jacket. jacket? Yeah. Okay. I got my last pair of pants that I left Vietnam in 1968. You was wearing them in the field? Yeah, these here. I just brought the the last the, the new pair they gave me, and I brought here. They're probably dry rotted. Yeah, that's what I wore in the yeah, war. Yeah, look at these plastic bags. Got the little holes in it. You might yeah. want to get some more bags for them. Yeah, I, I see. I was a kid. I wanted to be in the military. Yeah, I really want want to be in there. Yep. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's. Hey, I don't wish that on nobody. I didn't even want D to go in, not in the infantry. Man, <laughs> when I got over there, I said, what I got myself in? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's too late then. Yeah, though. no. Yeah. These guys over there crying, committing suicide. Uh, and you know what? I wasn't, it wasn't supposed to be over there. I was sole surviving son. I turned in the papers and the white folks took them and throw them away. Yeah. Throw them away. I wasn't even supposed to go to war. Yeah. Turn oh, I don't know what this is. Oh, you got the square. Uh, is this yeah. electric? Probably so. I'm going to use it though. Yeah. I'm trying to look at it together. I don't know what the hell. Oh, master built. Yeah. Y'all see it. I ain't going to take it out the box. Yeah. No, you gotta take it up. You, 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 and so when you come back, if you ain't here next yeah. time, uh -huh. how long you gonna be here next time? I be having out about this. Probably a day, huh? Probably a day. I don't know. I gotta look at. I'm I, talking I, about. Oh, I don't break, know. I don't know. You don't know don't how many days? Yeah, I don't know. know. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna. I, I want to use. I told me, and I want to. Uh, look. Let me get over here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hey, that's bad when you got the perfect place in the garage uh -huh. for in the box. <laughs> that's bad, though. Say what? That's bad. That's how yeah. you got a per the perfect spot, right? This fit snug up in there. Look at all that cooking utensils, all that they green. Not me. I ain't buying this. Look at all the cooking utensils, great jars, foam, all that stuff you can use. Ain't none of that old. Yeah. There you have it, y'all. Uh, pretty decent conversation with uh, Uncle, Uncle Rob, the vet, and... Uh, it was amazing to find out that he got a smoker. What are the odds of that? Just going to see him and he said, hey, I got a smoker over here I ain't never used. Been sitting there about two, two to three years. That's crazy. But uh, hopefully I get a chance sometime this year to go out and um, open it up and dirty it up for him. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'm definitely planning on it. We'll see. But anyway, uh, I'm going to put a link in the description below um, on where to get this master built. Um, I think it has a glass screen on it, if I'm not mistaken. If you got one of those, hey, shoot me a picture of it. Just comment below, and I see my email address. Shoot me a picture of it. See, I want to see how dirty the glass window is on it. Cause I know a couple friends of mine have them, and uh, they love them. They swear by them. Me, I'm not an electric guy, by no means, uh, or a propane guy for that matter. Cause you know they make multiple kinds. They even make the one with charcoal on it. But. Um, I don't know, I think that's like cheating when you plug it in and you might as well just cook in the oven. Um, or just buy your outdoor oven. That's essentially what you're doing. But uh, anyway, tell me if you like the video, comment, subscribe, like, share my video. Holla at your boy. Oh, before I go, we are getting close to 1,000 subscribers, y'all. I remember when I... um. Got my first 250. Actually, I think I did a giveaway at 100. 250 subscribers, 500. And uh, now we almost at 1,000. So if you don't know the rules, for those who've been loyal subscribers, thank you, I might add. Um, but here's how it works. The first person to comment, after I hit 1,000 subscribers, will win a gift. I think last time I gave away two. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to give away this time. Got to get creative with it. Uh, but yeah, that's generally how the rules work, man. I don't, I don't, you know, put them in a generator and all that. I want to see people that are actually active and, and like to talk about barbecue collectively. That's what this channel is all about, you know. Everybody sharing tips. I learn daily. You know what I mean? I learned something the other day just from talking to a guy that just walked up while I was doing a uh, a family reunion, just talking to him.
So, like I said, first person to comment after I hit a thousand, that means you gotta keep watching these videos, keep hitting refresh. Um, nah, 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 nah. But yeah, if you wanna win, keep hitting refresh and then look out for that thousand subscriber. And then we'll go from there. I'll send you, i hit you uh, with my email address and uh, we'll talk offline. That way you don't put your, uh, your, your, your address to where you want the, uh, the gift to go to. Um, and then we'll go from there, y'all. Keep smoking and send me them pictures, man. If you got videos, send me videos. I'll post my email address down at the bottom too in the description. Uh, I want to see your videos, man. Um, I might even just do a collective on somebody's video. Actually, I might just start a, re a review on that, just talking about an open discussion, just talking about random people periodically, the type of grill they got and stuff like that. So stay touch, man. Stay in touch with me and stay tuned. I got another video coming for y'all. It might be the subscriber giveaway. Stay tuned, y'all, and keep smoking. This is your boy, Mr. B, signing off.